Moving on, the final thing of the night. Marvel movies. We've now done all of the other ones that I wanted to do this stream. We've done Pixar, we've done DreamWorks, Illumination, and Sony. There were a lot of Pixar and a lot of DreamWorks. Not a lot of Illumination or Sony. Oh, actually, there might be a lot of Sony. Either way, I'm surprised there's so few movies here. There are 23 MCU movies, and here they are here. I have not been watching MCU movies since the beginning. I didn't watch Iron Man in 2010. I joined around the time of Guardians of the Galaxy. I watched Avengers 1 at some point, casually, skipped Age of Ultron, and then saw Civil War before it. So I was really confused when uh, Vision and Wanda showed up. I was like, oh, I remember that specifically. But now, I'm hooked. Seen them all multiple times. Love all the little pieces. We're not going to go into the Marvel shows because I never get around to watching them other than WandaVision. And I'll probably watch Loki if it's not an hour long each. But let's do one final marathon for every Marvel movie there is. There is actually two I haven't seen, I realize. Oops. We'll get to it. Actually, maybe three. Whatever. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This is a movie that I didn't like the original of. I didn't like Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Because... I don't entirely know why. Oh, no, I know why. It just the humor didn't tickle me like it does everybody else. Something about it just was a little lost. I mentioned this earlier in the stream. Ben, go find it, quickly. I wasn't into Guardians of the Galaxy when it first came out, the first one. I was like, this... Uh, the comedy didn't tickle me as much as it did everyone else. I didn't like the style as much. But now I really love it. I really like the second one and how colorful it was, you know? Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was the start of Phase 3, I believe. And boy, did they pay it off with the colors. Just looking at this poster alone, if you can barely see it with its tiny pixels, they made space beautiful again. They showed all these vibrant colors. And me as a colorblind dude, I really appreciated that. Plus the story of his dad and how he's a, a planet and like a tumor based story. I really liked how it came about. It's not the most fantastic, but it has a, uh, a special place in my heart for just what it did do, at least for my eyes. Overall, pretty decent. I'm looking forward to seeing Adam and more of the Golden People and Thor integrated with the Guardians of the Galaxy, if that's a thing. I don't know. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Another one I watched. I've watched all of these in cinemas, essentially. The movie didn't blow me away. I liked the epilogue more because it was connected to Infinity War and Endgame. It was okay. You know, not bad. Not a bad movie. We'll put it at B because it does do some interesting things with its uh, its sizing elements. I like the story more than like the concept, I guess. But yeah. Ant-Man 1. I like this more than Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's a really fun side piece. I didn't think I would like another superhero in the midst of his all, but his, Scott Lang's side project and the way his comedy works, I really, really enjoy. In fact, I like it more than Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I just like how it all comes together. I love the ants. I love, uh, I don't know, uh, something about all of it is really, really um fun. It's just a fun movie. It's a fun character. Like, Spider-Man is fun on the side. Ant-Man is the same, I think. Like, when I think of Civil War, Ant-Man and Spider-Man are my two favorites on each team, I think. But yeah, Ant-Man's just a solid side piece that I just really, really enjoy. Uh, what is this one? I see the word Avengers. I can't tell which one. Age of Ultron. All right. I didn't watch this movie in cinemas. It was before my time. I remember being really invested in the story. I really loved how it turned out. But later on, I realized it's actually kind of problematic. I was told by a friend the really problematic scene, for a start, directed by Joss Whedon, who's uh, been in, under a little bit of fire lately for working on the, the original Justice League, really nailing down on the Justice League cast in retakes, being like, I could ruin your career if you don't do what I say. Hey, Flash, you're going to lie down on top of Wonder Woman. That's the joke I'm adding in. Do it. In this, Joss Whedon had more control in Age of Ultron, and there's a scene where Black Widow says to Hulk, um, basically, you know, I can't have children. You think you're the only monster in this room. Basically saying, if women can't make children... They are literally monsters. Like, that was a whole political, like, whoa. Too much, my dude. You know, and I'm like, ooh, that is problematic. But, like, the vision element with the hammer? Very, very good. The way... Quicksilver? Meh. I think other Avengers movies have since kind of overtaken it. But it was pretty alright. We'll put it a B tier. Avengers Infinity War, S tier. Best of Marvel movie. Better than Endgame. Endgame kind of fumbles the ending because it's kind of hard to put together. But Infinity War was the movie I got to have the midnight showing of. I had all of my students, friends, all at uni, finishing uni at the same time, 
And then right after, we all had the midnight showing a double bill of... Oh no, that was Endgame. Infinity War, just on its own. I did a Marvel Marathon, I think the weekend before as well. Just watched all of the Marvel movies, we need to get up to it. And then everyone actually reacting and freaking out throughout the whole thing was magical. Black Panther was better than it needed to be. It goes hard. That is a that The soundtrack's fantastic. The characters are great. That's another S tier movie. That's a classic in the making. I mean, it's already been made, you know? I can't. I, I watched it just as a side thing, be like, ah, uh, it can't be better than Ant Man. Can't be better than S Tom Holland Spider Man. It, wa it was. I watched it with my, uh, my film, fellow film students. Good. I really, really enjoy it. You know, Civil War, the first one I watched, S tier, one of the best Avengers movies. If Infinity War wasn't here, having everyone collide and clash is such a good beat. It introduces Tom Holland's Spider-Man, really, really good. Captain America: The Winter, F the first Avenger, decent. Um, it does not blow me away. Did I put this already? This is Endgame. When did I put Endgame in there? I've been, look I've been reading something wrong this whole time. Right, that's Endgame. Well, okay. We'll put it at B tier, I guess. Sure, because it did fuck the landing. Sure. Captain America, the first Avenger. Pretty decent. It doesn't blow me away because it is just kind of its own period piece, but I really enjoy it. It's just everything else that follows is like, whoa. Uh, then we have the Winter Soldier. This one is the forgettable one to me. The only thing I remember really is the elevator. So I'm sure it's great. <laughs> But it doesn't hit me the same as everything else does, personally. Uh, Captain Marvel, we only saw recently. We saw this on my TV, like, uh, a couple months back. I've seen a lot of hate for it, especially how it, like, um, panders to the US military and how Captain Marvel herself's kind of cringe, apparently. Um, but I liked the cat and the alien element of that. I love the, uh, I want to call them Korgs. They're not Korgs. The camouflage people. I've only just been introduced to them myself, so I'm a little behind on that front. I enjoyed it though. It doesn't blow me away like all the other ones do, but it was enjoyable. I it was pretty decent. Yeah, I would put it at a low B. I think that's pretty good for it. Yeah. Okay, I'm waiting for the punchline. There is no punchline. It's not a joke. Doctor Strange, again, was one of the last ones I saw. I think I saw it last year. It is a spectacle to observe. I, I, oh, my eyes struggle with it, but really, really good. Yeah, it was nice to see like the, the human side of him for a little bit. It was nice to see the consequences and uh, how does the ending go? So yeah, he, he reverses time, the Dormammu repeating thing. I knew the ending before I watched the movie, I, I guess because it was a scroll. That was it. Scroll is their name. Yes, thank you for that. Yeah, I knew the ending, so it wasn't as impactful. It's pretty good. I'm more interested in uh, Multiverse of Madness, I think, because it's going to get weirder and crazier, and I won't be spoiled by it. Um, but I would say, pretty damn good. Better than Endgame? Yeah. Better than uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp? Sure. Better than Captain Winter Soldier? Or First Avenger? Nah. Guardians of the Galaxy. Ugh. Everyone loves this movie a lot. They, it's, their, it's their soft spot. It's their baby. It's funny. It's not tickled me in the same way. I can't explain why. I can appreciate it's good though. We'll put it better than Ant-Man and the Wasp. Endgame's getting really nubbed down. It doesn't need to be that low. Do it like that, sure. Sure. Uh, Cause I really like in Endgame at least, like the reveal of Captain being able to play Mjolnir. Now how that was hinted in Age of Ultron, pretty good. Having the axes, doing the duel, using superpowers combined, like I was ranting about in the Incredibles rant earlier in the stream. Oh, really good. I really like to see that. I want to see more of Marvel characters combining their superpowers, but there you go. And then, wrapping this up to the final line, we have Iron Man 2. <laughs> didn't see it. I didn't get into Iron Man back in the day, and people told me the sequels were bad, so I kind of skipped it. So, I remember which one's worse, two or three. We're going to put them both in D. <laughs> Sorry. I might watch them one day, because one's got, like, Whip Guy, doesn't it? And the other's got Abandoned Elsewhere. And he's got suits around the universe. Yeah. Eh. I'm not too crazy about Iron Man. I know everyone loves Iron Man. It's like one of the main three. But like I didn't. I didn't get too involved in it personally. Iron Man original though. Pretty damn good. Um, I'm putting them quite low. Because they are far overpowered by the future things that come in. I think. I prefer Captain First Avenger more than I enjoy Iron Man. But I don't want to put it worse than a. Man. First Avenger's not that bad. Why have I put it in C tier? Is there not a C-tier movie? Let's put Marvel down here and these two up, maybe. 
something like that. Ant Man and the maybe Ant Man and the Wasp can go here. Yeah, something about that. I don't, I don't know. Something's maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, that looks kind of right. I don't know. Uh, hard to piece together. Far from home, I really didn't enjoy. I thought it was too over the top. How like he can jump out of bus, do a shibby thing, and jump back down. Well, there's into that. Personally, I really didn't didn't get into it. I I, I loved far f uh, homecoming far more than far from home. Just the way it all turns out. So we shall put that down here. Yeah, it's not bad, just not good to me. Uh, homecoming though ah so much good like it's got that civil war charm to it that i really really enjoy oh, where would i put it where would i put it better than first avenger yeah go for it it's a low a tier i'll give it that it's just really fun it's nice to see a smaller scale marvel movie even though they don't do big galactic fights very often it's nice to see your friendly neighborhood spider-man Avengers original. Oh god, there's so many films. I don't know how to mesh them together. Pretty good. Meshing everything together. <laughs> I'm just repeating my own words. I really enjoyed it. I watched it casually and I've seen it later. It's just a lot of good fun. Does it blow me away? Low A. It's an A tier. Uh, Spider-Man better? No. Better than Age of Ultron, yes. I'm slowly working my way out for what I'd like it to be. Is it S tier? No, let's put it high A. I really had to like scale it all the way up. I'm like, it's better than that. It's better than that. It's better than that. Avengers Originals, pretty damn good. I gotta say. Hulk is not. Hulk is abandoned for a reason. Uh, I watched it a little bit years ago. Ain't that great. We'll pass. Thor original? Yes, this is Thor original. Um, fun. Where is Iron Man? There. And yeah, all right. I like Captain America the most. Thor the least. There we go. That seems collective nice there. Sorry, Guardians of the Galaxy. You're really getting kicked down, but oh well. Thor Ragnarok though. Oh, that's an S tier. The comedy of uh, Taika Waititi. Really good. Really love that. I want to see more of that kind of comedy. Wow, just comes around nicely together. They really did good this like this is around the same time, I feel like. They had a really good phase. And then of course, Thor the Dark World. Nah. We'll put that as another bad. That's pretty decent. There's a lot of decent movies in here. But four S tiers is pretty damn good, I think, is my kind of take. I just like I'm a bit of a sucker, as much as I am a movie reviewer, and I know these films are a little bit dry in their execution. I love being able to shut off my mind a little bit and just enjoy a film. You know, I watch a lot of superhero stuff. Superhero fatigue is real, and they do kind of start to repeat, you know? So it's just one of those things. I hope Marvel can keep it fresh, because I want to keep enjoying them. They flubbed the ending of their endgame because of all the things they were trying to bring together, um, and the themings just didn't, you know. Infinity War is still my favorite, even though it's the bad movie, like the bad ending, you know? It is what it is. But that's my thoughts on the MCU. I enjoy it a lot. I've seen it too much. <laughs> I'm done thinking about it for a while. So uh, that's enough of that. I'm going to end it off here. I wasn't sure if this was going to be an early stream or a late stream. Didn't know if we were going to talk until 10 or talk until 4. Apparently 12 was the answer. It's been 3 hours and 40 minutes of just me talking. We've had 4 pints of blackcurrant and 1 cup-ish of coffee. I'm done, dude. <laughs> I've always wanted to do a movie stream and keep it up. I would love to make more movie content. Literally, the only thing that comes to mind is tier lists. So I thought, instead of doing one, let's just do all of them. All back to back to back to back to back. You know, if you're watching this on YouTube, hey, hi, how you doing? Have you got an idea for what I should do on stream, movie content-wise? I would love to hear it because I need the ideas and content. I've been thinking of watching advert compilations. I, I can't, like, just watch movies. I can review movies as a side thing. That's only one video for like half an hour. I, I gotta find out how to get a whole stream's worth of content in some form. It'd be really interesting to see. I would love to do more. I need help. Uh, but anything you can suggest or just other games you want me to play, things you want me to talk about in any form, would love to hear your thoughts on. Feel free to enter the Discord or message it here or message in comments or 
contact me in all the different forms that I have. But for now, I best end it off here with this funky old music. So I hope you've enjoyed. You've heard all of my movie opinions and all the movies I haven't seen. I'll watch them all one day, and maybe I'll get a more cultured opinion in the future. For now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye everybody. Obviously you can't see it, but I'm currently dancing my shoulders to this beat. I'm going to enjoy it till it ends. And anyone else watching any VODs or highlights, you're the best for making it this far. You're a, you're a real fan. You're an OG. You're, you're a veteran. You officially have the title of veteran.